the stuff. We are already in that stage where I can't answer such questions anymore. Which questions? Why happened? Why something happened? <laughs> Did you use now? Which which axis you played on? A different one, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it's basically the, the experiment now is that you can use your own voice as well. Um, I am only recording the direct microphone. I'm not doing the resampling stuff yeah, yeah. because that's only confusing stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but. Um, you can move around in the buffer to fool with it. So I think I, I've, I've chosen a location. Different from the last program? What do you mean? The ori his original Wii mode? For Alex, you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very different. It's completely different now. To like exactly what you want? We are just a completely. No, this, new is, thing. this is the exploration phase. That's the idea now. We're checking out different ways of using Lisa in Junction and its combination and functionality of. The Wii, which is also different now, um, compared to my old setup. Mm. Yeah. And that's opening up, uh, as you can see, a lot of uh, uh, different possibilities already. Because that, this is another way of, if you're soloing and you're using live electronics as as a as a dialogue partner, this is um, you're diving right in to the sound as uh, having. The, yeah. the, the, the second layer, mm -hmm. so to speak, or the, the partner to work with, you, you know. It's like um, putting up a microscope and see what's in between those cells. Yeah. And we're just exploring just one tiny thing now. 
It's a fascinating uh, tool. Um, I'm okay. just thinking about uh, what to do. Also, within the, I have to talk to uh, John and Beard upstairs. Mm -hmm. uh, at four o'clock, uh, somebody will come whom I have to talk to. <coughs> Young Pete from Plum? Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to be? No, this is. No, no, this is all other things. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. What I suggest is uh, that you explore this a bit. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then what I can do is that uh, I can also, you know, th this pattern thing that I showed you. Hard for me to recon. Uh, I can also uh, implement that as well. Mm -hmm. But first what I want to do is, uh, I think now you should use it with your voice mm -hmm. and explore. So you need to know how this works. Mm -hmm. You tell me. Well, I already know, I think, sort of. You did, it, did you assign the beep button for recording? No. No. It's the home button, it's the recording. Okay. A and B are both playing. The only difference between A and B is that when you do the pitch shifting, mm -hmm. B goes up and A goes down. Okay. Okay. So if you play them simultaneously, one goes up and the other goes down. What is minus and plus? So the same as here. Here I said if you push the the higher you enable the y-axis control up is enable and down is disable the control mm -hmm. and for the left and right right is enabling right is enable the x-axis mm -hmm. and left is disabling and the plus is enabling the z-axis which is the complete full rotation and minus is this angle. Yeah, very, very. So theoretically, you should always know, be able to know what you're doing. Theoretically. <laughs> I know about this. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> things happen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If you want, I can make it in such a way that, for example, when you push one, mm -hmm then all the three axes are enabled simultaneously, no matter what. Mm -hmm. And if you push two, it all the axes are disabled. Ah, so, okay. So it might be that at some point you're like, okay, which axis am I using, yes or no? You just push two, then nothing is working. And then you do this, you know, okay, now no, you do the Y. Or at some point you say, I want them all together now. You just push one. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a very good idea. Yeah. I agree. It's always the sort of a emergency escape route. <laughs> Instead of applying all notes over. Yeah. I see. But th this will not affect the, the, the notes. It will just affect the controllers, that you are enabling the rotation centers. Right, right. Uh, no. So with one, will be it's really cool that you don't need to plug in to re-control, re-program uh, the Wii. It's just sending it automatically, right? Yeah, exactly. That's cool. Enable uh, all... Always the same controller. Axis. What is the multiple of an axis? Axis. With an E uh -huh. instead of an I. I think so. So it's like an X. Yeah. Multiple axis. Isn't it? It's. I think so too, but... Yeah. You wouldn't say axis. If I write it down, I'm like, enable all axes. Hmm. Yeah, with the E. <laughs> Ax. And then you call them the axes. 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 Well, I mean, in German <laughs> and in Dutch, you also have these words which have multiple meanings. Absolutely. So. <laughs> button one. So, button one will be. Enable. Enable. 
Just one. No, all axes. 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 Sorry. All axes. <laughs> While as two will be not. The two one. will will disable. When do you perform with this new setup? Probably question. Monday. <laughs> if we have a bit more than 24 hours in a day. Uh, I don't know. To check it out. <coughs> Probably already the next the next uh, gig. Wow. In Berlin. Um, oh, that's very optimistic. Well, that's in February. Well, as I said, that's very optimistic. <laughs> Mm. How long? Frank, do you think he needs more than a month to practice with the new setup? No, it's more like, as I said, this is a completely different setup. Oh, you see, what you what you're thinking about is just loading this particular setup as a piece and play with that. Yeah. Instead of incorporating it into your old setup. Either way, yeah. could be thought of. Well, the the. Either way thing means a lot of work. Hmm. Putting but, but it but into you... into your existing stuff. Ah yeah, yeah. That because that needs a lot of uh, re proper programming and so on. And Redefining I, I... in Lisa, right? Yeah, and 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 junction. In junction as well, but of you course. Could, but what happens if you go to create a new state and re? And you could yeah. start from scratch. No, couldn't you? Yeah. You don't have to touch the old stuff, but the problem is Lisa, isn't it? No, it's more the the problem is more like merging all the stuff together in a proper way, making sure there are no conflicts. Now I there are no conflicts because we have a new setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's it's a bit more complicated than you think. Uh oh. I know. So the the easiest solution is to. Just use this as a separate, separate setup in a piece. Uh, during a concert, you mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so he would but that would this. mean you have to open a new setup oh. in a concert. You go, which which implies you go to the computer. And then yeah. you load this new. Yeah. You load oh. two programs new. And that is only when you want to use it already in February. Mm. The thing is, next month I will be very busy with other stuff. So I'm not completely available, you might say. <laughs> but you know, it's going to be a stun kick. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that. Yeah, that doesn't matter. I hardly have time to go there. <laughs> but you will come at least to the concert. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I have to do a workshop. All oh, right. Okay. Transmediale. Yeah, that's a big one. Are you nervous? It's like a fair. Not yet. Five minutes before I start, really? usually. Do you get nervous? You never. See, you seem so calm and cool. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm so busy setting up the, all all the technological stuff. I have no time to be nervous. Yeah, you just it's have just to, this, this, this. Has and this has to be done. This, this has to be done. <laughs> switches are toggles, right? Yeah. <laughs> 
genius Frank so home is for recording mm -hmm. and it's again this is also a tunnel you need so yeah, uh, see. and it only it loops and it records for 12 seconds and it loops but it only keeps your last 12 seconds so there's no feedback ah okay I see hmm. wonderful tool to play with wonderful so maybe you should spend uh, becoming uh, hour or so just fooling around with it mm. <laughs> try to learn it mm. oh, okay. <coughs> <coughs> and also Hold on. And uh, at the workshop that we did in the uh, school, yeah. you know, we have the, the voice scratcher thing where yeah. you can do the sampling. And of course, there was one kid who could, could make fantastic burps on command. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so at some point I called, so can you come here, please? Because I need a, a good sound. Mm -hmm. And it, burping is such a fantastic sound to sort of scratch through. And to stretch. And slow, yeah, stretch as well. Right. Coughing, burping. Because it's a complex uh, yeah. uh, sound event. Yeah, exactly. There There's a the lot of harmonics in there. There are a lot of stuff yeah. happening simultaneously, that's why. Farting is also nice, by the way. <laughs> but that's a bit harder to do on command, for me at least. <laughs> Michelle could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I still have lots of those samples available. Yeah. <laughs> if you're interested. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> Not really. Okay, well, <laughs> what I will do is uh, also make a selection of the pictures that I took. Oh, please, yeah. I'll put them on the stick here okay. so you can copy them. So what happened to the instrument, the spoon instrument? Excuse me? The, the piano spoon you wanted to work with. Are you still going to work with the Wii? Or? The next step or the next idea is about um, incorporating 
still using the Wii but incorporating some mechanical devices so you can play um, uh, or use the buttons with your fingers play with the fingers instead of just using the thumb all the time all right. so um, that's going to be the idea for um, what we have to work on and that will take a while I think to figure out um, how and if that's possible in the end but I like the idea because that would mean you hold you of course first of all you hold the, the Wii differently right but then you have those claps um, uh, if you think of a clarinet or, or a saxophone you have also Claps, right? Yeah. And 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 they would be arranged here like, like tongs. You could call it we pialimba, as a combination out of a we of a piano and a kalimba because it looks like a kalimba, but you play like a piano. But it's the we technology which is uh, yeah. used. So we pialimba. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> and then you would play like this, sort of. But we have to think about very, very, uh, very much about thumb again. Yeah. Because it's once you do that for a while, it's kind of really tense. So no, now the, the instrument should be in such a way that you should not have to do this. You know, you can keep it even like this almost. Yeah, there should be some bends. Yeah, but, but you, you have to. You need to be able to keep it in a relaxing, to keep it in your hand in a relaxed way. Yeah, yeah. You know the thing that I do with the uh, sequencer synth. No. But I yeah I played that to you, the other day. You know with the shaking and the oh, drums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. So originally I had it that I had to hold this, mm -hmm. so that it kept on playing. Mm -hmm. But I discovered that when I started doing this. And my hands get sweaty and more slippery. It's really difficult to keep this stuck. Hold it. To hold it, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, I programmed the A button to just start it, and that's it. And then I can he hold it like this. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't really matter if it slips a bit, because I don't have to hold down buttons. Yeah, absolutely. I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. Since, uh, since so this, is, this can all be done in such a way mm -hmm. that you, you, know, you can hold it in a much more relaxed way. Mm -hmm. It should never be an instrument that you have to tightly hold mm -hmm. to make sure that you can play. Mm -hmm. <coughs> During my performances, I had to hold down the record button yeah. over the time of being recorded. Right? Yeah. And there are times when I, I wanted to record a longer scale, right? A longer period. Yeah. So I had to hold down the, the button all yeah. the time. And it get, you get really tense. Yeah. You get really tense. Of course. Yeah. And you're not free anymore. Yeah. But that's what you want to have in the end. Yeah. You want to feel free, in order in order you, your your mind setup has some free space to uh, think about music instead of thinking about oh my. The problem is as soon as there's really tension there, at some point you won't be able to do it anymore because it's everything stiffens up. You know, I don't know how you call it in English. Kneiper things to hold uh, to hang your laundry. Close pin. Hmm? Close pin. Close pin. Meshi klammer. <laughs> Push it with your thumb and your finger and hold it like that? No. It's no. Not for a long time. Uh, because Have I can you? easily <laughs> say I'll give you 50 euro if you can hold it like that for 10 minutes. Uh, just thinking about it makes my fingers hurt. Ten, 10 minutes might be possible. <laughs> Think about the 50 euro. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Forget it. Yeah. Yeah. Forget it. Mm. Even I, already after one minute, you're like, fuck, it starts to hurt. Uh, yeah, and you know, the hurting goes exponentially. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, these are things you would not think of, no. right? Unless mm. you've experienced them. Yeah. Mm. But I guess if you come from a design, instrument designing point of view, you would think about those things. Yeah, you have to think about that. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Holding the record button for that long is really tense you right mm -hmm. so stressful <laughs> <laughs> I 
don't ever want to do that. <laughs> um, all right. Did she say it? So I asked the desktop. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Named Alex. Mm -hmm. Which contains the pictures. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Thank you very much. Um, for, uh, for such. And. Do we see each other today again? Yeah, or? as I said. Okay. But later in the afternoon. Um, Probably somewhere around uh, five or so. Okay. Okay, good. I'll have to make lunch, I guess, now. I um, guess so. And wanted to meet Daniel as well. Yeah. So that's perfect then. Yeah. Super. Daniel, Daniel and me, we are thinking more about how to arrange the existing setup now differently. Meaning, uh, organizing uh, presets, organizing setups and mm. um, states, so to speak, um, within the programs. Because oh. that needs to be extended too. Because right now I have uh, all, all the buttons of, on, on the controller are sort of assigned. But um, I need more. And uh, also I want to extend um, not only the functional Functional, function, functionality. Functionality, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but also the way of playing it. So I want to change the instrument actually, uh, in, 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 in on a on, on the uh, digital level. Mm. And to extend that, I need more buttons, simply speaking. And we are also thinking of uh, in, in incorporating incorporating another Wii for just that purpose of having extra buttons. I thought you already have two Wii's, so three Wii's. So that would be the third the Wii. The third one. And maybe even the fourth one. And that and that's possible, that's um, doable. Uh, doable, is it? You say? Mm, so that's, that's the work. That's a lot of work, actually. But you leave this weekend. I leave uh, to, uh, uh, on Saturday, Saturday morning, and tomorrow I, I, I have to buy Christmas presents, so tomorrow won't be. Do you think that this time it's time was, was like, you got a lot of things done, or do you think that you need much, much more time? It's always the same, that I, I think uh, I need more time. Once you started something new, as, as you just have seen, um, Frank has created some some new patch, and Come in. and you 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 start to figure that out. You <laughs> Esther, come in, come in. Mm, what did I say? I forgot. Um. Ah, yeah. Once you started uh, and an start to dig into s a specific uh, field, as we did just right now with um, with the new pa patch from Frank. Um, you discover new st new things, and you discover how to approach a certain musical assignment differently, and and that's when you start to need more time again. Yeah. And you have you have new ideas, and all these new ideas need to be reorganized again. And it's not so easy to just um, add them to the existing setup. It needs new thinking about it. It, ne it needs new um, programming and new, uh, yeah, new work actually. Each idea is new work, and yeah, this reminds me of this uh, funny um, quote by a Dada-like uh, artist from the from the early 20th century in Germany, actually in Bavaria. He said, um, "Art is beautiful, but it makes a lot of work." Who was it who said that? Karl Valentin. Oh, I don't know. Karl Valentin. Kunst ist schön, macht aber viel Arbeit.
So are you are you more frustrated now that there's even more possibilities? No or? frustration. That no no no. It just oh it just um, proves that there is so much more to explore and so much more uh, possible. Um, the other way would be frustrating. Yeah. To to, to realize um, oh well I'm at the end now with right. this uh, program or with this uh, setup and so. No no it's actually the opposite oh, and that's that's actually. Uh, fascinating that you can think keep on thinking in that direction and then even more it's like a, like flourishing it's like a, a, a you know like flowers that are getting more and more <laughs> you know when do you think you'll have this vpalimba <laughs> vpalimba i call it now maybe we we should find some other um name for it I don't know. This is something I have to discuss with Florian. Florian will will have to make it. Uh, oh, oh, the guy Florian who, who made the mock-up, right, yeah, right. the mock-up of the first idea or, or the first concept. So would he would he put the the actual we inside the? Yeah. So there there will be a case probably out of messing, you know, messing. Uh, silicon. No, no, messing is a very uh, strong. Um, Almost golden-like metal. Mm. Sounds beautiful, though. And and the, the 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 idea is really about combining um, the digital with the analog world in that sense, and you can see it then, because the the, the claps will be very analog and very, you know, it will remind you of a clarinet or a saxophone or so. Oh, and, like and the metal. Yeah, the clicks. Yeah. And that's all about mechanics, and that's the tricky part, though. I mean, you have to think like a saxophone or a piano builder, and and, and the functionality mm -hmm. of a piano and the hammers within the piano might resemble uh, the same mm -hmm. um, uh, technology which has to be applied here for this idea. And I was thinking about this: is is this going to be? Are you going to play it like this? But uh, now I think it's more like this. So they are slightly angled, the claps. So, but we will see. Um, this is the. This is. A, but you're moving away from this wooden. Definitely, yeah, yeah. But I wasn't satisfied with that idea yeah, at all. Yeah, because it seemed much so stiff. Exactly, it's the opposite of what I was looking for. But what I notice when you perform is that you hold the wheel. It's it's really smooth. You know, it's like these really light objects that you're kind of like, you yeah. know, just like it's like choreography. Like you're really light with it. So. Yeah. Like to see this, it's like. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it was the idea of getting the fingers kind of involved, of yeah. getting them to play as well. Um, but that's probably not. That's not the way to go. That's for sure now. How did you come to realize this? Just practicing with that thing? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. I tried to to figure out like. Fingers, um, how do you say, um, how the finger moves. If, yeah. if you want to apply a scale, a certain scale, and you want to play this on within within this pad, you know, you you think of, about certain fingerings. That's the word I was yeah. looking for. And you do that for 15 minutes, and if this is attached all the time, like and very stiff, you get stiff immediately. Yeah. It doesn't take you even 15. It does. It, ta it takes about 10 minutes. You get stiff already. Well, I do. Yeah. And I, I still think it's a nice tool. I like the. I still think yeah, it's a nice tool. The look of it is really nice. For, let's say, how do you call these guys who stop planes on the on the. Oh, on the, I don't know the name. While starting or or yeah. flying in, <laughs> you know, and they can give commands and you know, more, more go more to the right or to the left. <laughs> but for a musical instrument. <laughs> it's probably not very good. Mm. Yeah, it's funny to realize that ideas are one thing, its realization is something different. Yeah, but that's why you have ideas, right? <laughs> to you keep to going through them. <laughs> <laughs> to realize that they are not going to work, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's first reading, I think. <laughs> I have another idea. <laughs> you. Hmm. Okay, cool. Are okay. you going to work with Daniel now? Um, we were supposed to meet at 2, 
But now it's free. Uh oh. Uh, I mean, no wonder there's cold water in my apartment, <laughs> right? Do you know that? Cold water, Are no you heating. Kidding? No, I'm not kidding. Did you tell Nico? Yeah. It's kind of <laughs> no, no, because this has that's, happened that's before. Since, since yesterday. Because we lived in the guest house for one week without whole heating or, or hot water. I had to boil water and then pour it over me. That's what I did yesterday for my feet. Did Nico get it fixed? No. And then uh, the only day where I can sleep in was tomorrow. And then he wanted me to, the, 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 the guys from the installation <laughs> uh, company show up at 8 o'clock in the morning, you know, <laughs> after the last, last water and then you know, swimming. Yeah, it's like a giant bathroom that place. <laughs> <laughs> it's all tile. Okay, wait, wait, could you explain in English exactly though what you're doing, Daniel? Like what, oh. now what are you doing with this? What am I doing with that? Well, together with Alex, uh, we're working on uh, the architecture of his existing uh, two Wii instruments for live sampling, resampling, and we're thinking of how to extend the functionality of, uh, uh, of his existing instrument into uh, six volt. So we're actually thinking of Alex having more of those Wii's. Cool. And the quest, the quest actually is how do you how do you hold on to the known instrument without actually and extending it without actually mm -hmm. uh, destroying his knowledge of what he's already doing? So really think it's that's why I call it architecture because what he has now gets uh, uh, gets kept and how can we keep uh, different uh, sort of different instrumental uh, responses to that so that he can go forwards and backwards both uh, during performance and during uh, during the development of his ideas. So it's really partly reprogramming the junction and the Lisa part, so flattening the functionality, making out of what at the moment are two different sets of uh, junction and Lisa states, presets into one, and then extending this one into five more. So he has the means of using his existing instrument and uh, also, what he's been working on with Frank uh, today, new ideas of how to process his sound. Uh, and at the later stage, adding that to it. So and what I'm doing is I'm thinking about the architecture, together with Alex brainstorming, you know, what would that mean ergonomically, musically, uh, and also logically. And it's about logic of, uh, of uh, finding a way of defining, uh, extending the instrument. So that's basically the idea. Now what we're doing right now is backtracking and remembering why we were doing things the way we were doing them. And I remember why we were doing them is because that was the easiest way of duplicating your functionality of one way of playing. But in the long run, we have to sort of uh, take one step back and then do five forward. So that's, oh, okay. And we're just looking at the one step back right now. Yeah. yeah. So I think what we're doing here is, is actually, seriously, technically speaking, we're just dealing with uh, different uh, different octaves to do the same function because I think in Lisa we were we're using uh, we're just duplicating zones that they will point to the to the to the different bar, uh, and that can be all changed again. So I mean, you know, in the end, if you change, if you have if you make a new zone that, let's see, this is the first one. So if this guy here points to 300 for two minutes, and the next time it points to zero for two minutes, right? That's enough. So we already have this here. So you don't have to put this on another extra uh, MIDI note. Mm. So if, jun if junction turns out, uh, uh, let's say note number, I think we're doing a 67 or whatever, 68 actually, 60, no, 60, uh, yeah, 68. So, and then the next time, even if you don't change the junction preset state, you change Lisa state, and on, on 68, same note, another zone that points to 300 to 420. And then number three, 
another stone, same preset, I mean duplicate preset, put a, make yet a new stone that points to on the same node number to yet the next place. So that's how we get, on, get into the, you know, the extension of six. So you have six presets which are associated with one state. Mm -hmm. And all you do is you select one and two on the fly, exactly what you've done now. Uh, and for sake of argument, over here now, three, four, five, mm -hmm. six. Now, but to, to let you know what I've done with the two existing presets so far, was I uh, preset number two was exactly the same than preset number one, mm -hmm. besides one button, and that was doing something different. Okay. And this way I could sort of extend the possibilities of the instrument. Mm -hmm. Now, and and each preset should allow me to do that. The world is your oyster. Uh, as they say, uh, yeah, sure. You know, I mean, you, you're saying actually next to the functionality of having three different, or well, six in this case, sooner or later, memory spaces, places you can record into, you can go back mm -hmm. to different times. Each one of them has a special flavor. By having one of the buttons, does something totally different. Else. Yeah. Well, again, just the method we just talked about is exactly the same method you'd apply, yeah. so that. And it's good to keep it simple, so you know, you know, not everything is different, otherwise it gets exactly. confusing. Exactly. You keep this one, and each one of them you just put a different algorithm, a different playback algorithm right. Right. underneath it. So as long as we are not messing around with how you turn this one on and off, right? You know, because I think you, this one was your, well, was the, the one I was toggling, right? No, that was this no? one. Okay, good. Then it's not even a, an issue. So yeah, you know, if you, nothing stops you, and so you can you can you change. Yeah, you keep the same functionality. It's actually very easy to do in the end, uh, Lisa-wise. You just duplicate each of the presets. You just mm -hmm. then you re you make new zones. For uh, well, you have to make as many new zones as you have switches. Recording, that's one of them, and the playback ones. They all have to point to the same memory space. Yeah. So you make four, five, six. You make six new, uh, six new uh, zones for each preset, and then uh, the ones that place the, the records the sound, you change the, the sample start. That's the, that's all you're going to do for each one of those six. You just incrementally name them, change the sample start, and for this one here, the sixth one. You just choose a different algorithm, anything Frank showed you or whatever. Mm -hmm. Although I would, just for sake of argument, I would try and, well, what Frank showed you, we're trying to sort of in, uh, keep separate for the moment, but in terms of things mm -hmm. you want to add to it, you can do that, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what's changing for you now is this here, this is going to be different. You don't have to do that anymore, right? You don't have to flip states anymore in Junction, because... This new strategy means you don't have to change between states. Mm -hmm. And uh, that makes it simpler right now. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we can use uh, this a second time, and then it could be, then you're in a different instrument. So, exactly. Right, yeah. so, so then you're on B, which is two. And that's state two. And what you do there could be what you were thinking with Frank about now. You know, I mean, I'm not saying we're going to do this right now, but mm -hmm. yeah. that's the idea. Yeah, because yeah. then when you're in state two, uh, we'll have to think of how we're going to do that, but uh, it's actually very easy. Uh, then when you press these buttons here that are now, uh, you know, these are one, two, three, four, five, six. When you press the same buttons, they will not be these are one, two, three, four, five, six, but seven, eight, nine, ten, or however many you want. Mm. And you don't know except when you're in the second state, it automatically takes care of the Lisa. The Lisa part. And then when you move here, you think, for your sake of thinking, you're in. 
these are quote unquote state one, two, that's why we need a different name instead of states. Uh, presets, sorry. I mean presets. So I see. That's why no one culture will start helping. So the sun preset seven, eight, nine, ten. And well, however many you need. Probably it's good to to keep it simple as well and say, well then it's gonna be seven till well six. How many? Yeah. yeah. Or even again, you know, if you're thinking in terms of architecture and you're thinking in terms of six, which is often more than enough, right? I'm trying to remember what uh, which preset which Lisa mm. preset you were five minutes ago. Mm. So it gets complicated and it's quickly. Or at least at the very least complex. Mm. But this is something that you don't have to worry about anymore once you implement that. So that's what I mean the architectural part. In the your one, two, three, four, five, six is actually incremented by a six. So it's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We don't know whether we need to have so many. Mm -hmm. Right, but Again, sake of argument, that's actually. How how would you name this uh, whole uh, next step? Yeah. Because we were talking about this already. Well. Uh, well um, and, and 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 so next time we are all talking about the same thing. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's it's a chicken and egg. I mean, how do you see what you're going to do there? I mean, unless you really know what in the new Lisa world, mm -hmm. what's really going to be drastically different there. Between For right now, I just need another tool to keep on working on the existing world. Mm -hmm. and, and there's still so many, so many things I'd like to, first of all, discover and also to save them yeah. within the existing world. That's all I... I and if I need yeah. them in the end, I don't know. It's just a question of having this option. Look, it's very simple. Right now, I would have to make another setup. Well, and and and, yeah. and, and, and uh, close the old one and open a new one. Which is what Frank advocated you to do in order to uh, explore. Which I'm doing, anyways. This is another. Uh, this is a, this mm -hmm. is uh, this is what I would call another track to go on. Another. Mm -hmm path to, to walk on. Well, you have you have a sort of, if I understand right, what you're saying is you have a sort of experimental setup, which, you're, which you know, you're extending, and you have your working setup, which you yeah. know is going to run. Okay, yeah. well, uh, well, once we've implemented this one step backwards, and you don't even have to worry about what happens in yeah, state, yeah. you don't even have to implement this yet. Okay. Right? So, I mean, it's very simple that this year is only just not doing anything else than you being one step mm -hmm. until the new world, the new ideas, uh, you know, mm -hmm. from Frank come mm -hmm. over here. This is a different, uh, a different file setup, right, for this time being. Okay. And in the meantime, what we do is we implement these here, and then what you do is a very simple, clever trick. Uh, everything that you pick up from Frank's ideas that you like. <laughs> It's not as easy as that. No, what you do in, a, in order to develop, develop your ideas, you use this uh, one sample player that's different on each one of these six ones, and you make you work on that. That's what I would do. Right? So the methodology, the, the, the method of playing is the same, except you have one of them which changes continuously. And in the meantime, you open the different files. There's actually now three sets of files. Your performance file that you have now, mm -hmm. that you're performing with, mm -hmm. your experimental extension of the performance file, that's this part here, and then you have what you got from Frank. Mm -hmm. And if that's not complicated enough, but you can... Don't you think that having more Wii's would be more confusing? Can be. If uh, it changes what the first two Wii's already do. But if this here extends the one of the functions, I don't think it's, I mean, that's the whole point we're trying to get at. We're trying, I mean, we use more Wii's not because we need more expression. We, we use more Wii's uh, conceptually because we need more buttons, right? We just need more buttons because although there's a philosophy that you never have uh, too few buttons with Wii, but experience, uh, I think, has taught, I think, all of us that when you're on stage, it's very difficult to think in menus. 
mm -hmm. right? So you can have very simple, simple uh, binary. Uh, uh, you know, you can have one button; it can do two different things if it's simple enough. But having more than that on the same button, which is how we could stop using more Wii's, just makes it very difficult to remember. So the second, the third we were talking about right now is not because we need even more expression or whatever. It's just because how do you have more buttons? And the easiest way, we started by Alex thinking maybe here, but how do you how do you switch something when you're still performing well? You can easily go over here or over here. So right now the third we is just a way of extending to have more buttons so that you can extend his architecture. So and. Uh, uh, so the, the goal is not to make it more complicated. Yeah. But the, the, the way it was right now was the performance set was also the extension of the performance set. And I always added new stuff to it. That's what, or yeah. that's what we did, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and arch architecture was. Yeah. Mm, and this I want to keep, yeah. keep going because, mm -hmm. because uh, you're working on the performance set, on the extension of it, mm -hmm. and next next concert you want to work with that. Yeah. Okay. You don't you don't want to lose these uh, uh, ideas, uh, otherwise course, it's, yeah. it's a waste of time. <laughs> right? Life gets too short after. Life, yeah, life gets too short. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Well, look. I, I see. I see. Where's <laughs> your points left? Yeah, so it's just a, it's just yeah. a, 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 Actually, I think we're talking markers. about numbers. Uh, you're now on to three, right? Mm -hmm. You're on to the set file three. Three, three. Yeah. And on four, mm -hmm. and the experimental you're on 4.1, right? Actually. Uh, there, there is no, there is no, uh, it, it, it'll be the same file anyway, right? That's the whole point. I mean, what you have right now is, not what we can use. That's what I was saying. You know, we have to go one step back, mm -hmm. uh, which I'll, you know, I'll do for you, and then because this is complicated, it's uh -huh. just simple bookkeeping. But it's it, it'll take me an hour to just figure out numbers, and uh, so you know we could do this together. But it'll be just uh, you wouldn't learn anything practical from that, okay. other than you know number manipulation, which is not interesting. Uh, but what's then interesting is. How you then switch, you know, because what happens when I do that, this year becomes you become you have one free state. So it becomes an instrument change, right? Instrument change, and the association of the instrument change with new things is what's interesting for you to explore. So that when you're in the second instrument, what is going to happen here? And that's probably things you will find that you were working with Frank, because when you're in a new instrument. What they do can be radically different, should be radically different, otherwise there's no need for doing the instrument change. Right. I think you were doing Frank with Frank, you were looking into the tables and different buttons and yes. stuff. Yes. That's the instrument change, right? Mm. That's radically different. Mm. Whether that's what you're gonna end up really using or not, you know, this is something you develop, right? Mm -hmm. So that's that's why I suggest uh, taking one step back. You don't hear, you don't need to have to to uh, states. So what I, so what we're doing right now is well you will have two states but not for the same Lisa set of presets. Okay, it gets complicated. <laughs> what we're doing right now is uh, simplifying. So you know maybe tonight or so one of these days I'll, I'll make you a new uh, 4.2 whatever, uh -huh. and then 4.3 is. You can just as an incremental, you can then start thinking about the stuff you're learning with Frank. Super. Put that on today, right? Super. That's the idea. That's super. That's the uh, idea. Yeah. And then, and then we're on the stage where you can use a third re for continuous uh, for extra buttons, right? That's what you then need this year, guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah, so. Great. So let me show you what to do with Frank just to help me uh, keep up with that. Uh